We apologize for that technical glitch. Finally, this evening, the rand saw a slight increase in early trading on Tuesday, reaching 17 rand and 67 cents against the dollar, um, up 0.7% from Monday's close. As investors await Wednesday's medium-term budget policy statement for insights on South Africa's fiscal direction. Now, the JSE opened lower with a 0.46% drop in the all share index, driven by losses across most sectors, with retailers and food producers remained resilient. Additionally, the South African Reserve Bank reported a decline in credit growth to 4.63% and an increase in M3 money supply growth to 7.25%. Financial analyst Gabelo Tiller provides more insights in today's market report. Well, as to be expected, uh, ahead of uh, major news announcements in the week, investors are taking money off the table. Well, the All Share Index, which uh, is the uh, benchmark for sentiment really on the JSE, is down by 0.6% at this particular point. Um, other major sectors are are down the likes of your industrials are down 2.2 percent finance is also down quite significantly at this point um, some some losers you're looking at the likes of remgro are down five percent um, but on the winning side resources continue to to impress impala up 1.6 uh, sassel also up 1.6 but the uh, activity in my opinion has really been on the currency front after having been stable, you've seen the RAND starting to slowly weaken a bit. Um, at uh, earlier trade, the, the, the RAND against the dollar was sitting at about 17.66. This subsequently weakened to about uh, 17 RAND 73 at this particular point. Remember, investors uh, use the RAND or buy into South African investments through the RAND. So generally that has a positive impact or a strengthening of the currency when investors are a little bit more cautious and they sell the RAND and hence there's a little bit of weakness. Of course, it's also dependent on what happens in the uh, other uh, part of the currency pair. But at this point, I think uh, investors 14 billion, that's a decent amount that's gone through the markets, but certainly a, a little bit of uh, caution ahead of tomorrow.